Well, that Jordan Peterson, who I know came to see you. Amazing man. Yeah, because I've interviewed him a few times and he was fascinated to meet you and to talk to you, both about private things, about what had happened to your family this year, but also about professionally you and your situation. I'm, I'm a huge fan of him. I, I read his book, 12 Rules, uh, and I felt that he's really, really interesting guy. And did you just say he read his book? No, I said. So he does read. I told you. I told you what he meant. He, meant <laughs> he doesn't read negativity. <laughs> I love to meet smart people. When I when I spoke with him, it was to meet him as a fan, because I knew that he do his speeches around the Europe, especially in England, UK. And um, we have a nice chat. He coming to to my house and we speak. He gave me good advices and uh, fantastic man. And I learned a lot. Some advices that he gave me, not only. Who was, the best, who was the best advice he gave you? We had a nice strategic conversation, not only for the moment of my life. I mean, not only for football because my life is not resumed only for football. I have. I'm a businessman. I have, you know, and many important things on my life. And when you are surrounded with these people, for with you as well, people that make your life more interesting, they reach something in your daily life. I appreciate because it's that kind of people that thinking outside the box, which is I I appreciate and. We had a nice conversation, strategic conversation, not only for the moment, but for the future as well. It gave him some points that I never expect, but the beginning was to meet him, a good person, an intelligent person, and uh, was fantastic. And I, we keep in touch. I speak with him. It's good. You're going to do Cristiano Ronaldo's 12 rules to life? Why not? <laughs> for the future. Maybe probably. You got more rules. Exactly. For the future, probably, I wanna I wanna educate it. I wanna educate it not only my family but my fans. As you know, I have a lot millions of fans. Yeah. Probably for the future, I wanna do it some book, but not the type of book. I've got, I've got a good idea for you on that. I yes, told you. it's a good. good one. But to help people, how to be, how to maintain longevity. And also, I think in your case, how to survive life right it's a lot of people out there who are struggling to just deal with life and the one thing you do better than anybody i've seen in sport is resilience mental strength right that's what it's really i think about. it's the most important thing and i i can see me in the future of course i'm i want to improve my english it's very good it's much better even the last time i interviewed yeah but i, I have to improve i have to do more interviews <laughs> yeah you want to get into the business Take the real language. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> my English is not perfect. Second, English is my second language too. I have to improve. I know, and I'm, 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 I, I, I want to improve, and I see myself to do it when I'm retired to speak for millions of people, advices, yeah, how to be a professional player, how to maintain your longevity, how I'm not a psychologist, but I passed through many, many things and I can, you know, above, pass, all, above all, how to win, how to win, which is the most important. I think it's what it's all about. I have experience to, to inspire people for that. I think I'm, I'm a role model and I, I can help many, many people in that way. If they want my help, they I will listen help. to it, right? For sure. Especially the young people. I want to be with the young people to speak with them, not only for them, but for the fathers as well, to put them in a in the right spot. Cristiano, what a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, Biz. What Great a pleasure for me too. And that's the interview. Well, what's your take on this? What do you think? What did you think about the interview? I mean, the interview is pretty interesting. It gives a different side of what the media says. Uh, I mean, they're gonna find some type of way to still say he just did it to make money to get more views right um or to make himself relevant whatever people say but uh all i could say is if you're like a true fan of football and you really love football 
you know, you learn to appreciate what he's done, what Messi's done, what Ronaldinho's done, what Slatan's done, rather than criticize, right? Because, you know, part of me loving football was watching him and Messi, like, to be honest, every every week, every weekend, or during the week in Champions League, because they elevated the game so much that it was like, oh, I want to be that, right? Even if, even if we're not professionals, you know, when you're a kid and you watch them, you're like, I want to be that person. If, let's leave, you know, let's leave, like, respect anything, like, out. Oh, let's just say football. It's like, I just want to be like them because they're, they're the best at what they're doing. Yeah, and um, I also wanted to mention how even though um, so many people, his teammates, the media, um, people in his own country, so many people criticized him and put him down constantly over the years. And he comes on this interview and he was so professional throughout the whole interview. Mm -hmm. He was calm, professional, humble, and said what he had to say. Mm -hmm. And I think the um, I think just you know just appreciate what he's done. Like again, he could retire now. I would care less. He still be like top of the game. <laughs> like he has. I I, I other than him win a world cup he's not the only one that needs to win a world cup but like they have nothing to prove or he has nothing to prove it's like it's you can't even say much more things other than like he's been at the top of the game <laughs> and many people want to be him anything else you want to say in the interview i just wanted to say if i was in the same position i would not be as professional and calm as him I would just be like, wait for my interview, and my interview would be like, F, F United, F, F the president, <clears throat> F the coach. Yeah, I will probably, you know? I, I don't think I'll, I'll probably more like him, but not necessarily like, not necessarily F United, right? Because United is the team, but it's those who are controlling United. Yeah. Right? Uh because, you know, I don't want to fan United fans or the United team, but those who are in charge. Because that's, the, that's where everything comes down. And, you know, I could give a good example, you know, the Mexican national team or the Mexico national team. Like, I think they have great players. They could be great, but I don't think they have great management. <laughs> I uh, That's my personal opinion. Um, and I think a lot of people have the same opinion as you. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish they do good because we never go to the next round <laughs> but um but i think they have a solid team what else was and then yeah you know you love football you know what they have done what he has done for the sport uh and there's anything else you want the analysis or react to a specific clip or any other player you know you step in the comments we both play soccer, watch soccer for so many years, and we continue to watch it. Um, who do you go for in the World Cup? I'm going for Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. But who do you... No, but who do you want? Who do you, what's your team for the World Cup? I want Ronaldo to win one, to be honest. But there's a lot of countries that are pretty good. Yeah. Well, for me, you know, I, I want... Mexico to win, but also Argentina. Despite Argentina, you know, I when because I live in the U.S., so if Mexico doesn't qualify, I always cheer for the U.S. Just because you know I live here, um, country has given so much to me as well. So I just uh, I also go for the U.S. when Mexico is out, and they have a solid team too. Like I don't think I've seen a, that much of a solid team in a while. Well, we're going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. This is part 10. I'm kidding. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And remember, go in the comments any other videos that you would want us to react to.